Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Order 7, episode 1 of our Let's Play. <sighs> this is the hardest series I have ever tried to record, ever, hands down. Um, I'll talk about what's been going on. I've been recording since 4 o'clock, and it's now 9 o'clock, and I have yet to do a single episode that I'm happy with because I'm having issues with the game. Uh, mostly dealing with the start it mod so this is going to be in vanilla i'm sorry about that i wanted to give the start it mod a try just couldn't do it but let's get started because <laughs> i'm just like i am done um so let's start here in the third hole the this first one is the uh, the one i was just i, I did four episodes this morning um, in fact i had done four episodes in vanilla they were going to start going up today, and in fact, I already had one ready to go. Uh, Rage and Racing, we're going to go with that. And uh, let's see, select all the flats, and then we're going to import all the rest anyway. I don't know if they run flat racing, but just to do it. I saw Chris Ormy do that, so I'm going to copy that. All right, and then start. So while this is going on, so... I uh, I said, you know, I really want to give this Start It mod a try. I know it has a lot of lag in it, but I'll put up with that for you guys. And I was about my third year. We had been buying yearlings, which is kind of what I want to do this, this playthrough. And... I had one year where all of, I, I did have nine brood mares, had them all in full. And at the end of that year, when the year changed, I went from nine mares in full. I still had nine mares, but I only had one yearling. It appears that that one day they all aged two years because they were, there, there were at least a couple of them that I recognized as, you, you know the foals aren't named but you could go in and look at the the sire's name and the you know and i knew who the dam was so i went in and there was one in particular it was about a three million dollar mistake on my part and i bred with the most expensive horse instead of the cheapest horse because uh, i forgot to reverse the uh, order and i said well you know we'll so i knew who that was i went into him in the in the in the stud list looked at his offspring and it was one of the two-year-olds and we had just bred him that year so it should have been a yearling so that was one glitch and i have not ex and i've done four or five short terms trying to just kind of figure the game out in vanilla so i've never had that happen where they went straight from in full to two-year-olds with a skip then i kept i kept two two-year-olds to race and they weren't going to be good, but I had one and it raced. And while I'm going to try to do this while I talk, we're going to go up here. Um, we had a, a, we had two, two year olds. So I had two horses in my racing stable. I had them both run a maiden. Didn't do well. One finished third, one finished six or something like that. Then I re, I, you know, so I set them up for a second maiden, each one of them with a second race. So I went to, you know, I went to that race and the first horse, which was the better of the two, finished second. It was running in the middle of the petra of the pack, mid, mid track, and finished second at the wire. And I said, oh, okay, so it's at least it's an improvement, right? And then I raced the second horse. No big deal. That one is, you know, he, he finished fourth, I think. And I said, all right, well, what about, you know, let me go in. Because like we're doing here, right? You, you click on it, you check their ratings and their bars. So I'm seeing if there's any changes to their bars. Well, down here it shows their previous races, right? So I'm looking at that horse and I look and there's two races. The first maiden. And the maiden we just ran that day or the day before. And I go, well, that horse just finished second. And I look over here and it said it won. I was like, no, because, you know, I watched the race. I got the jockey. So I mouse over the jockey feedback. 
well, before, you know, it was like, yeah, got the distance right, ran well, you know, should get better, blah, blah, blah. This one says, what a great horse. Let's go for the big money next time. First place, had a win. So I went in and I watched the replay. Keep in mind, I had just watched this race and saw the horse come in second. I watched the replay, same opponents, same race. He ran on the rail instead of in the middle of the track and won. And I was like, how do you explain that? How do you explain that? You can't. You can't. There's no way to explain that. And I said, I can't. That's my alarm for my medication. Um, I'm diabetic. Not that I need medication to calm down. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, how do you how do you explain that? And I've never had that happen before. And the only difference, the only difference, has been the mod, the startup mod. So I've posted over on their forum on on the forums uh, for for the mod, and I said, hey, you know, this is what I'm seeing. I actually have the episode recorded. If he wants to see it, I'll put it up for him. But I'm not going to post it, and I can't justify doing a save if I can't trust the file. So we're going to do vanilla here. I'm looking at this horse, and I'm wondering if maybe I should keep him. Now, he is a five-year-old. He's got a 76 rating. He's been running handicaps. I'm going to say no. If he's been running handicaps, we're not going to run him. All right, well, let's go ahead and skip, get the sale. Boom, 1.4. And we're going to go with, ooh, God dog it. Raging, racing, stables. Save. We're going to buy a breeding barn because we got to have one. And that gets us to 1.2 million. All right, let's get up to March 1st. Because what we want to do is we want to get some yearlings going. Looking to see if uh, Secretariat's going to run. Unfortunately, um, Secretariat kind of gets the shaft by the developer in this game. I have heard that he runs very well in Starters Order 6, but uh, in Starters Order 7, he loses a lot. <laughs> a lot. For a horse that I don't think ever lost after the first, uh, after the, you know, after his, after the Kentucky Derby win, that just seems odd. All right, we're going to be buying the as the cheap ones here. All right, so there's a handful. There's five of them that we should be able to get. So bear with me. I have tried to remember to move my picture over. To where you guys can see the little bidding screen here. All right, so we should get this one. Boom. The next one has a $43,000 reserve. After we get through the dead spot here. All right. So we should be able to sell these, I'm guessing, somewhere in the two to three hundred thousand dollar range you know at least double our money that's what I'm hoping for and then what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to go in and bet some money on Secretariat and or Frankel depending on who races and when they race Oh crap, I just bid myself, so that cost me a thousand bucks. That's all right. All right, that's a second one. So we're going to try to get three in a row here. 
um, 38.5. It literally, I think we just missed two horses. It didn't show that it was, uh, I didn't notice that it was even bidding. Well, that's troubling. I wanted those. Maybe I could work out a private sale. 77. I don't know who this is. This is double glazed. Okay, that's down here. See, I think we missed I think we missed a whole bunch in there. Or maybe we did it and I was just not paying attention. All right, all the rest we weren't doing. So let's see exactly what happened. All right, we did get. We we got 6, good. We're down to 723,000. So what I would like to do Secretariat's running April 1st, allegedly. Now, I've seen this before where he runs, he's scheduled, and then he skips this race and comes back for like the Wood Memorial or something. So let's go ahead and get to April 1st. Oh, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to follow that horse and... I'm going to follow that horse. So I will get emails if anything pops up regarding these. So let's get, oops, hello. A new feature race declaration. All right, so we're going to delete that. Let's come out. Let's go back. So see, now he has he's withdrawn from the Florida Stakes and gone to the Wood Memorial, April 10th. Uh, skip that. April 10th. All right. And then there's a yearling on April 30th. So let's get there. All right. The Kentucky Derby. So he should have two horses, two races scheduled now. There we go. All right. Right. April 10th. All right, Secretariat is running today, so we're going to go to the track. Now, these are kind of races that I like to maybe bet because there's not many. Mazamora, Celia's Fountain, 5th, 4th. You know what? I'm going to take a flyer for a thousand on him. We're just going to look at the result. Ah, should have bet it on Celia's Fountain. That's who they had. Yeah, that's too bad. All right. Well, that's okay. We're here for the big guy. Hopefully, hopefully, he doesn't screw us. But you know what? I, he's burned me way too many times, especially in this first race. So I'm only going to bet twice. I'm only going to make two bets. He's starting second from the rail. The light-colored horse. Charges out towards the lead with blue noodles. All right. So he's running out in the front. Outsource is the gray on the outside. Secretariat still holding in there in third position, stalking. Number six is Zakarta. Secretariat might be getting pinched a little bit right there by Blue Noodle. All right, he's moved up. He's in the he's into the racing position. The two furlong pole. Secretariat takes a one length lead, and I know his name is Secretary, but we know he's Secretariat. Um, they call Frankel Frankel. I don't know why, unless they just have an issue. And I'm assuming this game is made in, in, in Europe, in the UK. Um, just assuming. Can he hold on? Thank God. Sandpiper's dream was coming there, another furlong, and they might have had him. 
All right, but we do get a win there. So we make 165,000 in profit. So that's good. That'll put us up. So what we'd like to do, I'm going to skip the rest of the racing today and the auction. If we take a look, his next race is May 7th. So what I think I'd like to do is we'll skip the yearling sales on the 30th. We'll come back and try to win some more money at the Kentucky, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, by the way, since we won money, let's save. And uh, so I will see you guys here in May. All right, so we are here for the Derby. Well, tomorrow, there we go. Now, Secretariat has pulled out of this race, so we may... We may, st we may not bet, but I'm just, let's see. Gotcha, Go Amwell, Storming Red, three joint favorites. Wow. And they like one that's not even a favorite. Gee whiz. He's got a win after two seventh place finishes. I'm going to go with Go Amwell just cause on the strength of three wins in a row. I'm not going to go crazy. Let's bet twice. And he loses. 27000 All right. Well, shit happens, I guess. So we will move on. So let's double check Secretariat, May 21st in Baltimore. And then the next yearling is June 29th. So, well, what's this? Frankel. May 16th. Awesome. Well, you know we're going to go drop money on him. June, four, uh, June 14th. All right, so we'll have Secretariat before that. So still May 21st. Secretariat is running and then has declared for the Colonial Turf. So a lot of times what I see is he doesn't run the Belmont if he doesn't have. I've seen him skip the Belmont even with the Triple Crown run. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's go to the track. All right. And then we are looking for the Preakness, Secretariat, Blue Noodles, Group Leader, Secretary is the favorite. Four play got one pick. So I think we've got to. We'll bet that. Let's go watch. Holding my breath. He's on the rail. Number five horse. Breaks cleanly up on the rail. He's out near the lead. All right, let's get up towards the end of the race. Hopefully he can get us some money because I need some money. All right, he's stalking. He's moving up. He's staying right in that pocket. There's a move at the four furlong. Drifts back just a little bit. All right, coming up on the two furlong pole. There he makes his move. He's up in front. Gotcha is starting to fade. A length back, two lengths back. Blue Noodles coming up on the outside. Secretary extending the lead slowly but surely. Still a little ways to go. Can Blue Noodles make a run? Hand goes up. Il sans parti. And Secretary wins. There we go. Les les bon temps roulé, boys. Pockets of money. Thank you, Secretariat. 8 to 13 odds. So we made 430000 off a $454,000 bet. All right, we're going to get out of that today. Save, please, since we won. $1.2 All right. June 29th. Frankel's going on the 14th. Dejure's going on the 14th, and then 
Secretariat's going on the 26th. All right, so let's get to the 14th. All right, we are back. It is racing day for Frankel. Let's go out to the track. I'm going to skip DeJour because he never wins when I bet on him. And he finished second. So very glad I didn't do that. Uh, let's see. Serious superstar. Frankel's going off at 66 to 1 odds. Last in the field. Wow. Wow. Well. You know what? I am going to maximum bet. I can't bet more than that. I'm still getting 20 to 1 odds, 10 to 1. Now he's at 8 to 1. That's not as lucrative, but it's still 8 to 1 odds. Down to 12 to 1. 14 to 1. You know what? I'm just lining them up. As long as I can more than, you know, quintuple my money if he wins. All right. That's good. Let's go race. Please, please, please don't let me down, Frankel. All right. He's got the green silks. He's running far outside here. The green silks with this kind of pinkish hat, the number 10 horse. But he's in open space. Boy, some wide tracks, huh? And they run straight. I'm so used to American tracks where you run in a circle. All right. I'm not, I'm not feeling it here yet, Frankel. What are you doing for me, buddy? Well, here comes a couple of chargers. Frankel's in the group of four or five. Does he have anything in him, though? All right, he's out to the lead. Can he persevere? Alpha Rop and my brother Sylvest there, but Frankel is going to take it. Oof, a lot closer than I would have liked. A lot closer than I would have liked. You know, I, I expect Frankel just to, like, dominate. All right, so how did we do? I don't even know how much we wagered. So we put 614000 and we pick up $7.38 in in total, 6.7 in winnings. Um, we're going to skip the rest of the racing today, and we're going to hit the save button. And we have $8 million. All right, so let's end on that high note. Uh, let's come back. Secretary will be running on the 26th of June. So we will come back for that. We'll put some money on him. And then we also will be looking at the yearling auctions on the 29th. Please do me a favor. Hit the like button, at least on this episode. The first episode of a series uh, that kind of drives the su future success of any series. So please if you watch this, hit the like button. That'll help me out a lot. I don't ask you guys for Patreon support or anything like that. Um, hit the like button. That's all I ask for. These, these are unmonetized. Hopefully you guys don't even see ads on these videos. Because if I'm not monetized, I don't want them taking up my viewers' time with ads that I'm not getting paid for. So uh, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I do know we pick up, I picked up quite a few people. Uh, we've had 25 new subscribers in the last month. That's my biggest month ever in my three years on the channel. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, but uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Please chime in in the comments. If you guys know anything about this game, you know more than I do. So um I can help you out on some of the bare basics, but if you've got any feedback for me on what I should be doing, by all means, let me know. 
Hit the like button, subscribe, and guys, I'll see you next episode. We'll put some money on Secretariat and buy some more horses. See ya. Bye.